I'm your boy DeAnthony, I'm my boy Don, my boy Christopher the Conch here, and we are Break Room Blitz, baby. Blitz! <laughs> now, we just came back from seeing Hidden Figures. Hidden Figures. Oh. Man, if you haven't seen this, I don't know what's going on with you. You need to get off the couch, get uh, take off work, whatever you gotta do, make sure you see this for sure. So, right. so we got Taraji P. Henson, we got Octavia Spencer, and my girl, Ooh. Man, she fine. Smoking. Janelle Monet. I like everything about this woman. I like her performance. I like her singing. I like her persona. <laughs> Multi-talented. Now she can act. I like her as an actress. Oh, man. Yeah. So, she was feisty. Feisty. I, I like the movie. Did you guys like this movie? Oh, I loved it. I, I loved, loved it. Every yeah. minute of it. Loved it. Consensus. Yeah. Loved it. Such an easy watch. Definitely. What did you guys... What do you guys like about this movie here? Oh man, like you know, it, it's it's a good storytelling. You know, it's like not only as a like time period piece, but I mean, it really shows you like just a glimpse. It's only a glimpse of the struggles that went, uh, you know, through back in the day. You know, with the whole segregation. You know, separated but equal, back of the bus kind of stuff. And I'm just like, I was like, oh man, you know. And then like. They're in this professional environment at NASA, and science has no freaking color, but they're still going through it, you know? So, I mean, I don't know. It's just like the struggles of putting man in space, and it was just awesome. I as long it. as science is in America, <laughs> it has color. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> no, apparently. That's definitely one yeah. thing. I love, love that about it. I think one of the things I really enjoyed about it is they didn't focus on all the negativity that that... that naturally, it's a, it's a huge way over. A negative really really hurtled over that light yeah. but um, the fact that these women laughed at laughed at the fact of sitting in the back of the bus they blew it off their shoulders and all, all the anger and just like even one of the husbands was all angry about it but they just they, they pushed through and they completely overcame every odd possible for them and that's what I loved about it the most yeah. is, is it, they, they just they said you know what there's hate there, but we're going to rise above it. They're they smart. They freaking did it. They, they did it in the smartest way possible. They were all so intelligent. Yep. That's interesting. So you guys had to rate it. Oh, if I had to rate it. it there, there was nothing that I can find wrong with this movie. This is a PG movie for it to tell me a story of what it is. I got the facts straight. For a PG movie, you know, it's a 10. It's a 10, you know? I couldn't, I, I wouldn't ask for anything more other than that. Ten. I don't give any movies a ten. <laughs> I gave the Lord of the Rings a ten years ago. <laughs> what did you got for us? Um, honestly, it's, I'm right there with Don. I enjoyed this movie a lot. I loved the over, just the spirit of the whole thing, the, the cast, the story. The, the, uh, just it, it is a ten. I will stick to what I said on my video that I'm not even gonna recommend it. Recommend it. You need to just go watch it. Just watch it. There's no question about it. You just have to go watch it. Wow. <laughs> so as the black guy on the panel. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> I gave it a seven, um, because as, as you said, you know they didn't really focus on what was really happening, and I thought a lot of times they made the issue about being a woman right. versus mm -hmm. being a black person, and a lot of times they would say, "Oh, there's no protocol for a woman to be in there." Uh, I don't think that's the issue. It's not only not any women, but there's also not any black people in there. Right. You know, so a lot of times when they would make it about a woman issue, I don't think that that was even a thing for for black people. At that time, um, eventually we tried. We kind of went over that way, but at that time, that wasn't what we were. Our issues were mm -hmm. so it kind of took away from me. And then, like sometimes, I thought that the acting was um, a little overboard for the scenario. I would have liked there to be like something that happened to her, like kind of drastic for her to do that whole um, dialogue she had with uh, Kevin Costner. Right. Yes. Um, I would have liked it to be a little more, I guess, uh, tension. Right. Because she was like, I come here every day. Flipping tables. <laughs> <laughs> and None of y'all <laughs> had a drink from us. Hey, uh, that's my coffee pot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, but not that it's not justified that, you know, she didn't have, like, built-up rage. Right. But I would have liked to really seen, like, what made her, like, really snap. I mean, yeah. anything can make you. I don't know what it was like living back then, but any, I guess anything can make you. But I would have really liked it for my generation yeah. to have like a real yeah. snap, point, snapping point. No, that makes right. sense. No, I, definitely. But, I mean, she had to tread lightly ultimately, and, yeah. and and after the after she actually said that, she walked out of the room. I was getting ready for her to actually sit down, but for her walking out of the room, that was 
perfect thing to do. You oh, know? yeah. It's, it's, you, can't, you can't go sit down and do work now. Yeah, it's yeah. like, okay, I just talked back to the boss, and I better get out of <laughs> yeah. here so I can get <laughs> my job. Lunch. Right, right. <laughs> I, I, but I did like it. I thought historically it was great. I'd never heard of these women until recently, until, like, the previews. Exactly. Um, I've never even knew they had. Like, I've heard of, like, um, like, women helping out, like, scientists and mathematicians, helping out, like, astronomers and things like that. Um, but I didn't know that they were still doing it like that in, right. you know, the, the 19th century. You mm -hmm. know, I thought it was, on oh, 20th century. Mm -hmm. I thought it was, you know, now, you know, we got calculators and all this stuff. We don't really need a group of women that's being computers. And I thought it was cool they called them computers. They called them computers. Yeah, like, I'm a computer. Great. That was yeah, awesome. Exactly. I'm a computer. Like, this is our computing device. Meet Larry. The computer. <laughs> right. Right. Whatever. Meet a computer. Uh, <laughs> I did think the acting was really good. I thought it was, um, very impactful. I thought it was friendly. I thought it was, like... Like, Chanel Monet, man, like her, she should have really been in the movie more. Maybe that's why I gave it a seven, because I wanted to really see her more. She was foxy. I, I, I really wanted to see her, like, um, you know, complete school and then, like... Get the position. Like, yeah, get the position yeah. of an engineer, you know? Like, show me, like, how did you actually contribute put, putting someone on the moon? But I guess we didn't have enough time. But I really thought from the trailer watching it yeah. that that's what she was going to do. Yeah, like, right. complete school, be the engineer and then help this guy go to the moon. And that's but, interesting, too, is it because, yeah. like, we got to see the other two reach their goals in the movie, with exception to her. Yeah. That was but, one thing but, that but, you have for, but I still, like, You know, just, uh, you got to tread too. lightly, baby steps, really. Yeah. Yeah, it's a true story, so, you know, I guess at that time, if we were going to be true to it, she didn't really have those credentials that she needed. Yeah. yeah. Right. So I get it. You know, that's why they gave us, like, you know, the, the you know, after the, after the fact, what they did later on. But I love her interaction. You know, each one of these ladies had an interaction, you know, uh, you know, Traji with uh, Kevin Costner, and mm -hmm. then um, Janelle uh, with um, uh, the judge. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, oh yeah. I know you were the first judge here, and then you don't you want to be the first one to send so uh, a, a yeah, lady right? to school to be an engineer? You know, right? So she has to go to school, segregated school. So mm -hmm. what happens is she wants to be an engineer, and this is on the trailer, so I'm not no spoilers. Right. She wants to be an engineer, and uh, the guy asks if you know if you could be anything, if you were a white guy, if you could want to be, would you be an engineer? She said, if I was a white guy, I wouldn't have to. I would yeah, already be know. one. I have to. I wouldn't have to dream about this. So. She says, I had all the qualifications that everyone has. But as usual, once a black person meets all the qualifications, qualifications change. Mm -hmm. So she has to go back to school, and they, it's, not a, it's a segregated uh, school, or it's a, uh, it, it's a whites-only school. Right. So she has to go get a judge or a court order to be able to even go there. Um, and the fact that she, what she said to this judge was just like, awesome. I didn't know what she was going to say. Yeah. You know, like, I had no idea, like, how can I get the white men to, to care yeah. about her going to the school? Yeah. So, but what she was saying, like, you know, I heard that you were the first judge to do such and such. Yeah. Isn't that great? Don't you, that, you know, we can relate here. Because I want to be the first person, yeah. you know, to go to this school, mm -hmm. you know, and, and be, a, and be an engineer at NASA. Mm -hmm. And um, the way she just, you know, related to him was just so, he couldn't help but be like, was on you know a personal what? level with I him. I like you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, you're a little, and, and, and I, I hate to say this, but I felt like he said, oh, you know, you're a little different. But yeah. honestly, you know, the, a lot of us are like that. It's just we don't get the opportunity, you know, to be, you know, present ourselves like that. Let me try. Man. But, right. So that's what he was saying, that, you yeah. know, she was able to, you know, uh, appeal to this judge, you know, to his better nature. Right. And let them let her take those classes. It was great. I mean, every I mean, every, I gave it a seven, yeah. but I really liked. It was only because it was just some things I didn't like as far as like the feel of the story historically. But as far as like their performance, I mm -hmm. man, I would definitely say yeah. go see it. Top notch. It was such a good. I, I'm sure there was all. like a lot more hate that they like encountered, but I mean, for the sake of the story, you know, it's just you know you want this to be a PG movie for like everyone to watch because. It's a story that everyone should be able to watch, exactly. but, you know, the first, you know, N-word that comes out, it's going to get a rated R, you know, mm -hmm. and that's historically accurate. I mean, America's been rated R for years, you know, it's just <laughs> a, a life that people have been living, and you don't get to see it, you know, in the theaters, but you, you're going to experience it throughout your life. Oh, I like the part when Octavia Spencer, she's in the um, library, and the the lady pretty much kicks her out because it's not a you're not in the, you're not in the black section, section. Yeah. oh i love that you know and she ends up stealing the book and her son's <laughs> like you stole that i didn't steal nothing i pay my taxes <laughs> i pay tax you can't steal something you've already paid for. <laughs> and then i was like true man right. like well, like that was awesome. her character yeah. like by far was uh, you know one of my favorites specifically because it's like 
she she knew she saw it coming she could anticipate it she knew what needed to be done and she knew she could do it so she went she went behind where she needed to go she learned what she needed to learn and she passed that on to her ladies because she knew how hard of a struggle it was for the black woman to come up yeah. or just blacks in per period to come up right. and she freaking just oh man killed it she her chess game was immaculate it was yeah. so good <laughs> she's like a mama bear she yeah. knew how to take care of everybody exactly, exactly. i exactly. love that and she, she was watching out for everyone and she took initiative on every single thing that she was doing and she you know? also yep. never st she did not back down on saying what she wanted to say that scene in the bathroom with kirsten dunce where she's like you know i got nothing against y'all she's like I, I believe you believe that. Yeah. I'm just like, <laughs> like, I was like, you just smacked her and then backhanded her and then one more time without yeah. doing nothing. Like, I, I loved it so much. It's these mind games, you know? They, it's like, yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it's wicked tongues. Like, ooh, I love the way you said that right now. <laughs> yeah, but honestly, that's, that's kind of how I feel even today. Like, yeah, you tolerate me, but really, if you had a choice, you know, so... I kind of, I still relate to that today. So that's why it was so great the way she put it. Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't like it was. It was so passive aggressive. Right. Oh, yeah. you know. It so was, like it was like slide. She didn't have. She didn't have anything else to say. Yeah. She just stood there in the, in the bathroom like. Like you can't fire me for saying that. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Th that's another reason why I really liked the movie. You know, just to touch base on it lightly was the fact that they didn't use any hostile rage at all. They managed to get by and do all of this. While speaking their minds, speaking the truth, the being truth. who they are, mm -hmm. and they did not, no one went all crazy, well, except for, <laughs> I don't see where she just goes, hey, my coffee pot, but still at the same yeah. time, it was just like, it's all facts though. It was all statement. It was all of them being them and standing up for themselves, and no one got hurt. Yeah. Like, that's the one thing I liked about it, is they show that there's an other side to that fence, and if that was enhanced, it's like that whole feeding the wolf thing. You could feed the one that's going to make everything worse, or you could feed the one that's going to bring that light where there's dark, and that's what that's why I love this movie a lot. Yeah, and I like how Kevin, you know, allowed them to be who they were. Mm -hmm. You know, he's knocking down signs, like, you know what? That was awesome. This like, is really ridiculous. <laughs> we don't have time for this. Right. Yeah. You know, it's like, I got a deadline, right. and yeah. no, none of this silly politics thing are going to get in the way. You right. know? It wasn't like, even the deadline. It was just achieving a goal. Like th That's the beautiful thing about it is it was it was a common goal for humanity, for the goal. United States, yeah. that common mind, the common idea that we have to go from A to B. I need everybody who can do this here. I don't have time for a stupid sign like this to hinder us. It's like you're right. get, this sign is right. getting in the way of my progress and mm -hmm. our progress of moving forward. So, bye sign. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Damn, you know, man. We're here for a reason. <laughs> yeah. All the shenanigans with having to run half a mile to go use the restroom, that's ridiculous. You yeah. know, there's no way that we can do that and still be efficient in what we're trying to do. And I love the yeah. woman for doing that. Like, I mean, she took her work with her. She went home to her kids. Uh, yeah. And coming from a mom who rose three ki kids growing up, like, I'm looking at her going, like, you are superwoman right now. I love you. Like, it was, it was just fabulous. Yeah, I was surprised yeah. she had Rock. kids at home. Yeah. I was really surprised about that. Um, I didn't think she would. Just, like, just the nature of who she was, what she did. I didn't think she would, so when she did, I'm like, oh, freaking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And three. She got but what I didn't like, I was just going to say, since I gave it a seven, yeah. I guess I'll be the only one saying I did what I didn't like. <laughs> um, so we have the love story. I And I'm, I love love. I'm not knocking it, but right. I felt like it was a little rushed and it wasn't really necessary. I felt like they maybe should have started in a different spot as far as the love thing goes. Um, so that, I just kind of... Uh, kind of disliked a little bit um like i said the tone of you know the scenarios were more geared towards like a woman issue versus a black issue Dude. yeah so i guess those are just things i didn't like you know maybe i can give it an eight but i don't know i felt like towards the end i was just sitting there i'm like okay it should be over now and that's that's kind of how i feel I, I didn't feel like i can get like i wanted more wow, and man. that's kind of like what i was hoping to feel I guess because, oh, and then, like, uh, uh, that's a spoiler. Never mind. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I just want more of um, Janelle, Janelle, Janelle Monet. Janelle Monet. <laughs> Janelle Monet. I wanted more of Janelle Monet, and that, the fact that I didn't get it, I guess, it just kind of took away from it. I've seen Taraji Pinson a hundred times. She's great. Yeah. But I've never seen Janelle Monet act. And the way she seemed like it was, like, was foxy, Easy. man. She was yeah, foxy. She it was like she's story. done this before. Oh, like yeah. she, she's like, just be yourself, okay? This is, <laughs> right. this, this is the period piece. The picture yourself in this timeline, okay? <laughs> Janelle, I need you to be in some more stuff. Oh, yeah. Some more movies, TV shows, something. Special request from Break yeah. Room Blitz. I need you to be out there. He wants doing to play your husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
And I know <laughs> real, real life. Real tough. It was had a lot of action. So, would you guys recommend this movie again, or recommend it to anyone? Oh, definitely. I think everyone needs to see this movie. Yeah, it's a. Uh, Did you not hear me earlier? Yeah. I ain't recommending this for just nothing. Do it. You just need to go watch it. <laughs> Buy it on time DVD. For this. <laughs> Buy it on DVD. Buy it on DVD. It, it could be a collection. I mean, I, this is a uh, this Get is it a, for 3D uh, for fun. <laughs> a movie that kids can watch in school. You know, yeah. where they're gonna actually learn something as well. Yeah, you know, definitely. Uh, history is... class. Be- I think about that. Be- because of the rating and, and you know, it, 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 it teaches kids nowadays growing up, you know, um, new generation of kids where, you know, this came from. You know, before computer, before all this technology, people were actually computing everything, you know. So yeah, er- everything was handwritten. You know, because I, I think a lot of racism in this country is based upon miseducation. Yeah, absolutely. To everyone. Because mm-hmm. it's a taught thing. It, you don't right. come out of the womb already with hate, you know. No. It, it, it's nothing like that. And I feel like... You know, eventually it's going to get wiped out with, you know, time, but... I hope so. Um, but this would be a know. good step as far as, like, showing that. And if you did have, like, anything like that in your in your heart, it could try to, you know, steer you away from that. Like, this is, that's just bull crap. Yeah. You know, let's just get it done as a country. You right. know, all as one. We have one goal, which would be one, one body. And all this separation just really hinders us, you know. So I, I really hope yep. that um, kids can watch this in school. I didn't think about Absolutely. that. It'd be a good tool for kids mm-hmm. to be learning you know about their own behaviors yeah you know not just about you know uh a's a b c's one two three all right guys i'm d anthony i'm Adam. chris the coach <laughs> and we are break room blitz please like subscribe share and comment guys let us know these guys gave it a 10 yes. do you think that they should be up for some type of oscar mm-hmm. this year uh, let us know what you think. I thought maybe they should. The acting was pretty yeah, good. Definitely. So let us know if you think that they should be at least a nom- at least nominated. Nominated. So yeah. all right, guys, we're out. Break room bliss, baby. Peace. Peace.